Hey guys, I wanted to add this note at the beginning of this video about um, this news. I'm going to be covering whatever comes out when it comes to Toriyama's passing because uh, like, I want to keep you guys informed on the news. Originally, I was going to make this a community post, but somebody recommended I should make it into a video so it hits the mass audience and more people can see it. But I wanted just to tell you that like... You know, I, I wanted just to say that I'm not trying to, because there's already a couple of slime balls who are going to accuse me and other content creators of trying to profit off this man's name. I'm not trying to profit off this man's name. Not everybody on the internet's a scumbag. I was very hurt by the passing of this man, and I'm still mourning it because this guy literally, I've been a fan of his since I was four, and like, not everyone on the internet's a scumbag, okay? Like, this video is just to keep people informed and just so that people know what's up. So, I just wanted to say that because I'm getting it out there so that everybody's aware of why, of, of if these videos keep coming. Like, I'm not going to put any, any promos on them. I'm not going to put any, like, sponsorships. That's not even, it's not about that. That's not what it's about. It's about giving the news to the fandom. So let, let me get to the actual video now. All right, what's going on, everybody? I hope that you're having a good day today. I hope that you are hopefully happy and healthy wherever you may be. I have an update about Dragon Ball series creator Akira Toriyama and not just the cause of death, but his health for the past year. This information is coming out this morning and uh, I wanted to cover it. Now, originally, I was going to talk about this a little bit tonight because tonight I have the Dragon Ball Super Drafts are dropping tonight, and I'll have a video coming out about that. But I think this deserves its own video because the drafts, I don't even know what's going to happen with those, and I feel like with this, it's a lot more, it's a lot more serious, and I want to kind of keep this separate. I want to keep the more serious Toriyama stuff with involving his health in a separate video so i just want it's just better for me to kind of divide the two so a news article came out this morning from kamisama explorer that was in japan it's an interview with toriyama's assistant takashi matsuyama matsusayama excuse me matusayama these names are not that easy sometimes confirming that toriyama apparently had a brain tumor now, um, this is not the only source on this. There's actually another source. I want to give credit to D.B. Cringer. Um, this source right here states, for this comedian, Okawa Tomohide of the comedy duo Chicken Nanban had been friends for 16 years with the famously private Akira Toriyama and shared a few details of his friendship with the mangaka in an interview. Some interesting details. It says here, Toriyama was extremely kind and genuine in his personal life. They got to know each other when Toriyama came to see a live performance in 2007 or 2008 and came to the Uchiyage, which is where a band or performance group goes to a bar or a pub after a performance. So it's the after party, basically. Just a small after party. He gave an impression of being like a normal Oji-san. Basically, what he's saying is that Toriyama was a humble man, and even though he was wealthy and famous, he didn't treat anybody that they were beneath him, which a lot of people have said about the man. Every time they met, Toriyama came dressed in a t-shirt, jeans, and a baseball cap, and a shoulder pouch. He was a heavy smoker that smoked at least a pack a day. Yeah, that's one of the unfortunate things about Toriyama when it comes to health, is smoking. Smoking, he, and the Japanese you know, oftentimes are, there. It has, smoking is, is still very heavily done over there. In this country, in the United States, it doesn't seem like people, at least from my age group or lower, are that big of smokers. Smoking was a thing that sort of felt more like something from the 70s and 80s, even though people do still smoke. But in Japan, it's different. It says here, Toriyama didn't own a smartphone or even a flip phone. This is what I was talking about, y'all. This man only accessed the internet at home via email. Like, this dude was super disconnected from everything, man. He was kind of a country guy. He felt he would lose his private life if he got one. I like that. He, that's pretty smart. He communicated primarily via email from his PC. That's what I've been saying. And I, this is not something that's like a inside information from me. This was public during a Dragon Quest documentary I saw a few years ago where Toriyama only talked to people outside of his inner circle through email. 
The dude was extremely private. Extremely private. He didn't appear in public in part because he didn't like the idea of having a public persona in people's imagination. Toriyama had almost no health issues until 2022, but was hospitalized during the pandemic. So the, there was a rumor about him having COVID. It's not that he had COVID. It was, it was something else. It says here, around April 2023, he emailed Okawa letting him know he was considering being hospitalized due to a brain tumor. Okawa was concerned, but not overly so since Toriyama seemed so healthy at the time. Toriyama later emailed saying he was undergoing brain surgery in February 2024 to remove the tumor before passing away on March 1st of an acute subdural hematoma. Okawa doesn't know whether the two were related. So, as of this article, so he was going to remove the tumor in February. And apparently, again, nobody knew about this. There was This is super private information that's just now getting out. We don't know if he actually got the surgery or not. It could be possible that the surgery, that he did get the surgery, but there was something else, maybe a call. Maybe, maybe something happened with, that there was an issue after the surgery with his brain. Maybe they removed something and there was, there was a mistake made by the doctor, or it could just be that the cancer had gotten, the tumor in his brain had just, I don't want to say cancer, it was a tumor, it doesn't have to be cancerous, but the tumor in his brain may have just, you know, just gotten too big. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's a bummer. Like, the, look, I, I'm not going to blame the smoking, but I do know that obviously everybody knows smoking causes lung cancer. And my mom passed away of bone cancer from smoking. She got pe pancreatic and bone cancer from smoking. If you have cancer, smoking just makes it worse. So it could be possible that Toriyama had it for a while, didn't know, and then the smoking made it worse. I don't know. I'm not here to speculate on that. Um, even though I just did, I'm not trying to, I don't, we don't know. I'm not a doctor. Toriyama's medical records will probably never be revealed. Um, but there's a reason why Okawa mentioned that. Like he wouldn't have talked about the whole smoking thing if it didn't, if he, if he didn't feel it has something to do with this. So it really is unfortunate. And Whatever other details come out, I'll cover them here on the channel. And uh, tonight, uh, I'll be back, hopefully with some better, I mean, it's not going to be, the news, whatever comes out tonight is not going to be, not going to supersede this story at all, but I will be covering it, so there's that. The Dragon Ball Super Manga is still going to come out this month. Um, I don't know about where it goes after this, but we'll find out soon, so... Yeah, Toriyama's more information coming out about the passing of Akira Toriyama. And I'm, I'm glad that he got to spend his final years with his family. Uh, you know, he was a very private man and spent most of his time with his family. And that, to me, is, is great. Like, when you can get wealthy where you don't have to, like, leave work or leave your house to go to work and just spend all the time with your family, at least he seemed to have had a happy life. And that's good. That's the most we can ask for. Anyways, y'all, take care of yourself and your loved ones. I'll see you tonight.